What's up, it's Cinema Shogun here, and earlier today, Jared's sister, Jessica, released an extremely emotional video pleading with their mother to come forward and to come clean about Jared. Pleading with her and Jared's own mother to come forward to tell the truth about Jared and all of the horrible things he has done. And listen, she made some bold claims in this video. Claims that I don't even want to repeat. I think it's important that you hear it from her. So instead of doing a breakdown of her words, instead of picking apart this video, I think this one is very, very important for everyone to hear from the horse's mouth. So you can all get a better feel as to the severity of this situation. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hear from Chester. Um, and um, so, but when I came in here, um, of course, hanging by my bed, this beautiful thing right here. I hardly ever wear jewelry unless I'm out, like on stage and dressing and acting all weird and stuff. Um, but um, that's from my mom. My mom gave me that years ago. And um, so I put it on. And I would like to challenge my mom. Hey, mom, this video is dedicated to you. Um, I know that somewhere in your heart that you um, that you believe in the Lord. I, I know that you know what's right and wrong. I know that you know a lot of things and more things than I know about. And it would be awesome if you came forward. And it would be awesome if you could talk some of the others, and you know who I'm talking about, into coming forward as well. Because right now there is a lot of support for the victims. There are a lot of people that are coming out saying that they are also afraid of Jared. Um, you are not alone. Um, it's time that he stops manipulating you. So it's, it's time that you stop living in fear of the wrath of Jared like everyone else. And it's time that you become a voice so that maybe others can come forward and others can start the healing process. It is never too late ever to start, to start the healing process. Um, it, it needs to start. It needs to start for a lot of people. And you know who I'm talking about. You're the only one that can back me on that story, at least right now. So I need your help. Let's do the right thing. Let's stop living in fear. So that being said, um, I, uh, I'm doing my normal thing this morning. Is it hurting the victims would put a bigger target on my back? Oh, damn, I didn't want to do all this. I was just trying to sing. Are you guys beginning to see what a monster he is? Mom, please come forward. Dad, please come forward. Please do the right thing. Please. Please. Please don't let him walk for this. Please. Please come forward with the other things. Please. Blood or not, we're all human. Show some humanity. Okay. You guys have been protecting him for too long. I know a lot of it's fear. I know a lot of it's because you, you love him and you try to look past the bad things, but they haven't stopped. They've gotten worse. He's hurt more people in so many ways. So many ways. Better stop this right before it goes into a stupid commercial and it got a commercial in the background. Like I, anyways, um, sorry everybody. Um, I didn't mean to get all stupid and emotional. I didn't realize that that was gonna come out. But again, this is this is me being real. So, um, I've been on a roller coaster ride from hell. For almost four decades. For over 30 decades. My roller coaster from hell. 
got a little bit more harsh. <laughs> My friends call me the queen of comebacks. Because every time I start doing good, my family shows up and they tear me down as if I don't deserve it. When all I wanted was uh, to be a part of the family, I kept trying. <sighs> I'm a grown woman. My kids are raised now in the house. I'm a grandma now. Like... <laughs> I have my own family. I love them. I would do almost, almost anything for them. But mom and dad, I would not do what you're doing right now. I would be opening up. I would be telling the truth. I would be making sure that others are protected. Um... It's the right thing to do. Um, I just don't know what else to say. Um, it's nice to not be crying again. Okay, let me just calm down. Um, yeah, like my brain, it, it pretty much just shut down. It's it just shut down. So that was obviously very emotional. Just a lot of raw emotions coming out in that video. I mean, obviously, I feel some type of way about this entire situation. I want these victims to get justice. And I, I think I just need to sleep on this one. Because this is a lot to take in. Because, I mean, obviously, it sounds like that she was insinuating that there may be more people. And when I say that, I mean there may be more people who Jared could have done this to. And if that's the case... <clears throat> It's hard even wrapping your mind around the situation and wrapping your mind around how many people who could have possibly been affected by this. And you can tell that she has been emotionally scarred by this for life. But I'm going to sleep on it. I hope all of you all sleep on it as well. And tomorrow I will be back with more updates. But for now, let me know your thoughts down below. Hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button. Ring that notification bell. And I'll talk to you all in the next video.